all right good morning good morning good afternoon yes good evening depending on your times where we are connecting with me live this beautiful monday morning right here in benin city first i want to thank god almighty for this privilege and also i want to appreciate each and every one of you who have taken time to always subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so very much thank you and god bless you um very quickly uh, we are approaching the season where we uh, many of us uh, will be running to start our project or probably simply put to continue our project. We've run through uh, the raining season and it's gradually going to an end. And this is the season where um, so many clients will be interested to starting their project or to resume back their project. Please note that currently we're on site we are about starting the project and we're currently molding the block i'll give you an update about that later but i have seven important tips seven important tips that you should pay attention to as you are about starting your project or you want to continue your project back number one do a review of your project do a review of your project so if you have started your project and probably because of the raining season you have to pause do a review of that project where are you currently on that project are you achieving the project goals what are your project goals i want to build a four bedroom bungalow i want to build a five bedroom duplex these are the standard of what each compartment should look like is that what you're actually achieving on site? Then if the answer is a no, take a pause and do a proper, proper re review. But if the answer is a yes, kudos to you. Number two, decide with your wife or children on what you want to build. Don't say, eh, I'm the man, I have the money, and I want to go and build. No, call your wife. If your children are adults enough, sit them down and tell them, you know why? Because you want to embark on a journey to spending money. As such, you will need a wife and a children that will be considerate with you. So if your wife was to bill you 50,000 Naira before, for example, because she knows that you are now building, she can reduce this to 20,000 Naira. If your child is to bill you ordinarily beforehand, but now your child now knows that okay, fire that is building. The child reduces the amount at which it bills you. Carry your children, carry your wife along. Let them know what you actually want to build. Number three, consult a professional before you start. Consult a professional. Nobody should call me and tell me, eh, Victor, eh, and I've built my house to some extent and I wanted to go and check it. I visited so many sites and I was not encouraged and I did not do the project because I just know for myself that this project, if I embark on this project, the risks involved is high. Number one. Number two, if I want to fight the risks involved, the client will not be willing to pay because you just feel that, ah, I mean, this thing is stressful. I've seen a client, that ran, ran, many clients that ran out of their project simply because Yes, there are certain things that they want to correct and you're like, ah, man, this thing is getting out of hands. Consult the services of a professional before you start. Some persons will argue and say, we have consulted, in short, somebody who is a professional, who is well read, and the person misbehaves. Yes, you are very correct. You are very correct. But trust me, take your time to search for the right people who should undo your project. Don't carry your family member and go and put on the site. I will tell you again. If your family member is not a professional, don't go and put that. He's not, he doesn't know what to build. She doesn't know what to build. I am not an engineer. I am a project manager. And my duty is to ensure that I organize all the stakeholders involved. I am certified in project management. And I understand what as little as communication is all about. As little as time management is all about. As little about how to manage resources, either in financial resources or in human resources. Consult 
the services of a professional. I have seen so many clients shed tears because they gave the job to their father, because they gave the job to their mother, who is not a professional, because they gave the job to their sister or to their brother. I've had issues on site where you, the brother of the client or the sister of the client will tell me, oh, Victor, uh, you need to bring out XYZ amount as our court. And I'm like, no, your brother is the owner of the site. Your sister is the owner of the site. Reach out to your brother or your sister if you, need the mo if you need money from them. Not me adding to the budget. Consult a professional. Number four, try to be flexible. Try to be flexible. Don't say, ah, eh, I don't meet my friend when they build too. Uh, he's saying a five naira and it must be five naira. It's a lie. There are factors. Let me show, let me give you an example. On this site that I'm currently molding block, I consulted before I get the sand for four in one trip. 85,000 naira for four in one trip of sharp sand. But when the tipper got to the site, because of the distance of the site, the sand became 94,000 for one trip. 94 for one trip. So you may say, ah, eh, eh, my friend got his own for 80,000. Do you know where the site is? Do you know where the site is? And all these are the things that should be managed appropriately. Try to be flexible. As far as you have been able to connect with the right people who want to manage your project for you and you can entrust your project with them, Communicate with them. Find a common ground to balance and sit down there. Number five, please, this one is very necessary. Please don't look for cheap services. Pursue standardization. Don't look for cheap services. Pursue standardization. I know it here at the talk. Now, this is one of the strategies some people use. If, for example, the amount, I want to give you a secret. If, for example, the amount to actually build a, certain, a particular house to a certain stage is five naira, and you, have, you want to consult, let's say, two or three professionals, A may tell you five naira, B may tell you four naira, C may tell you four naira, 50 copper, or three naira. To a very large extent, I've come to realize the fact that those who go lesser, those who go lesser, they have been able to uh, phantom a strategy to get their money back. Let me throw this as an example. In one of my friend's sites, the man consulted him, please, can you give me granite? 15 tons. And the guy told him, ah, 15 tons is 240,000 euro. Don't forget I said, depending on your location. Why? Because um, those truck drivers, they calculate your location and then they calculate it with the um, numbers of liters of diesel that they will use to get to your site. You get my point? And the man now said, ah, no, uh, I don't have 240. The money I have is 210. And the man said, 210, bring the money. The man collected the money. The client budgeted for 15 tons. Guess how many tons the guy, man gave to him? He gave him 12 tons. You won't, you won't go to count granite for site. Or you won't go to wait away granite for site. It's not possible. And you know what the man told me? The man said, Victor, I am a businessman and I can never lose any business. In the eyes of the client, the client has thought that, ah, man, I don't price and What do you price? You do not price anything down. Don't look for cheap services. Pursue standardization. Imagine from that 15, trucks, the, uh, 15 tons, the guy had removed 3 tons. Who now lose? The client at the end of the day. So the client may just go and say, ah, eh, Victor wanted to cheat me. It's a lie, yo. There are so many ways. So many ways those people can get their money back. Don't look for cheap services. Pursue standardization. The next one. Tell your project engineer to give you the project schedule before you start. Tell your project engineer to give you the project schedule before you start. So, before you start, just know that this project is a five days project. Know that this project is a three days project. Know that this project is a two weeks project. Don't send money to one engineer and then the money is just in his hand. That's how so many projects are mismanaged. The last but not the least, kindly find a way 
to communicate your displeasure whenever you notice anything. Don't assume. If there's anything that you notice that far, ah, this thing, I'm not clear with this thing. Find a way to communicate with your project engineer. Don't assume. Why? Because the process, the, the moment you start assuming, so many things will start going wrong. And then you'll be angry at your engineer. And the moment you're angry at the engineer, the engineer will begin to observe it as well. He too will start malfunctioning. Don't forget you are the one spending money. Find a way. Call him or her. Aoga, this is what I notice. Let him or her explain himself. If the person cannot ex explain himself very well, tell the person, this thing is wrong. And then you find the common ground. If you, have, if you have to continue, good. If you cannot continue, call short that project. I want to believe that this piece of advice is enough for you. We are currently on site and we are molding uh, about a hundred bags of cement to resume our project on this beautiful two flat. Um, the front flat is a three bedroom uh, and then the back flat is a two bedroom. I'll be giving you updates on how far this project uh, is going thus far. But currently, as we're speaking, we're on site and we are currently molding our blocks. Thank you and God bless you. My name is Remain Victor Olise. If you're yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, can you hit the subscribe button right about now? We are 2,259 subscribers right now on our YouTube channel. We are growing. Thank you so very much for your support. I really, really appreciate and I won't take this for granted. Thank you and God bless you. My name is Remain Victor Olise.